Hey guys, it's Sadi Dan here, back again with another new video for you guys, and today I thought it'd be fun to talk about some PSP hidden gems with you guys. I have a few games picked out here that we're going to cover, but I've been a big fan of the PSP for a very long time. I just think it has an incredible library of games, spanning tons of wonderful JRPGs and RPGs to just wonderful niche kind of weird games like you're going to see today. And the great part is, for the most part, PSP games are actually very cheap, so it's actually a great time to jump into the PSP and its wonderful library of games if you haven't. But today we're going to be covering three just personally selected games that are really weird, really fun though, and just I think kind of hidden gems for the PSP. And just an FYI, there's not going to be any RPGs covered. I plan on covering PSP RPGs and just RPGs in general in a future video series, so look forward to that. But let's jump into this episode of some PSP hidden gems. This is What Did I Do to Deserve This My Lord 2. This is a very strange game, but a refreshing kind of game. Basically, you play as the main bad guy or overlord in this RPG type of setting, and with the aid of your witty overlord apprentice guy, you are trying to conquer the world and kill all those pesky RPG heroes who are trying to be good and stuff. In general, the game's premise, satire, and its writing is actually very funny and well done, especially for RPG fans who will get the many references to the genre and gaming in general. Now, the gameplay is very strange and unique. The best way to describe the game is that it's a kind of real-time strategy type of game with a lot going on. The gameplay is broken up into stages and basically you're digging block by block to form essentially dungeons that these RPG heroes will try and go through, ultimately trying to capture the overlord apprentice guy. While digging, you will see certain blocks with nutrients as indicated by various symbols. If you dig these, you will spawn enemies to occupy your dungeon and make life hard for those RPG heroes. These monsters will move and act with their own unique quirks and attack the RPG heroes. Because remember, you're trying to kill the RPG heroes and protect the overlord apprentice guy. So you don't place monsters, but instead grow and breed them by having them supply nutrients to soil blocks and having them feed on each other to grow bigger and stronger. And there are lots of different monsters to spawn from weak slimes to strong dragons and before each stage begins you will have time to do this digging and strategically place the overlord apprentice guy. There's also a limit to how much you can dig. This creates a fun micromanagement mechanic because you can dig a lot and make your dungeon longer and more complex or you can choose to be conservative and save your dig power. If you choose to save your dig power you can use that to level up monsters in your dungeons after each stage. I find it's best to try and find a balance with your digging. Ultimately the stages are one by protecting and keeping the overlord apprentice safe and killing all those rpg heroes in each stage what did i do to deserve this my lord 2 is a really funny unique yet surprisingly deep rts type of game with tons of witty charm dialogue and satire worth checking out for strategy game fans and those looking for something funny and different Beating up dudes in a banana suit, shooting laser beams out of your eyes, and trash talking with great one liners like blame your mom's beefiness. I don't think I really need to say more. But I will, cause content and stuff. This is Kenkabancho Badass Rumble. Kenkabancho is actually a long running series of beat em ups in Japan spanning many platforms. This game that we got on the PSP is the third main game in the series and still the only game in the series to be localized. Kenkabancho Badass Rumble is an open world beat em up brawler. The story follows this high school kid on a week long school field trip and it just so happens many other schools had the same idea and are having week long field trips at the same time. As a result the many different areas of Japan are swarming with tough guys from various schools, and what better way to spend your trip than trying to conquer all the badass bonchos of each region. This game is actually quite impressive as a PSP game. As mentioned before, it's an open world game and there's a lot to do, see, and explore in the various regions. Your main goal is to wander around and fight worthless peons and ultimately challenge the main boncho for that region. Once you beat a main boncho, you get to recruit them, learn moves from them, and gain respect in that region and officially conquer that area. And ultimately, you're trying to 
to conquer all the regions in the seven days to be the ultimate badass. A worthy goal for sure. But the fun thing is, it's all up to you. You can just wander around and explore and fight random people, mess with cops, talk to people, and even find romance. Getting back to the gameplay itself, this is your standard beat em up brawler. You have tons of powerful moves and combos to learn, stats to increase, items to use and collect, outfits and clothes to obtain, and so much more. You have standard and heavy punches and kicks, grabs and weapons to use, with many moves being able to be comboed and charged up, as well as there being many powerful moves to learn and use. But before a fight and at all times, you can shoot out laser beams out of your eyes. This allows you to trigger a smash talk with an enemy and you have to correctly spell out the smash talk and if you do, it gives you the upper hand to begin the fight. But it's also very fun to intentionally butcher the smash talk and say stupid stuff as well as scare random people with your laser glare. The gameplay in general is very heavy and slow feeling but strangely feels satisfying. Kenkabancho Badass Rumble is just a silly beat em up with tons to do and a robust yet deeper than expected gameplay experience and it's just tons of fun. For big beat em up and brawler fans and fans of open world games you should totally peep this game for the PSP. Lastly, let's check out Hammering Hero. This is the eighth game by Irem in the long-running Hammering Harry series, or Daiku no Gen-san as it's known in Japan. You play as Gen, who is trying to stick up for justice and help the common folks. Hammering Hero is your standard side-scrolling arcade action game. You will fight and dodge your way through levels, fighting enemies and dodging projectiles, helping folks along the way, and eventually fighting a boss at the end of each stage. Gen also has the ability to take on the roles of different jobs. The job you select affects how Gen fights, the moves he can do, as well as the special attacks he can use. You have various attacks to use like an overhead attack, straight attack, crouch attack, etc. You can also hit projectiles back at enemies which is important for fighting certain enemies or making quick work of some bosses. But where Hammering Hero really excels is in its insanely varied and clever level enemy and boss design. Each stage is so insanely varied from a creepy hospital to the baseball field to a restaurant and so much more. Meanwhile in each stage you are fighting fighting enemies and dodging stuff that makes sense within the context of that respective level. Everything feels so thought out and crafted with care. Take this baseball stage as just one example. The whole stage is you trying to round the bases while fighting dudes. Meanwhile the pitcher is throwing pitches at you which you can hit back at him while going around knocking dudes into the bleachers and ultimately fight the boss who is a huge catcher dude trying to prevent you from reaching the home plate. This game just features some of the cleverest and well thought out levels I have seen in a PSP game. Game. All of this helps to give the game tons of charm and variety. Not to mention the game looks quite nice for a PSP game of this nature. The game takes place on a 2D plane but levels are designed in this 2.5D style and it does play with depth and depth perception quite a bit. This is one of my favorite games on the PSP. Hammering Hero is great for fans of arcade 2D side scrolling action games and should be in every PSP fans game library. So this arsonist friend of mine was trying a dating service. Unfortunately, nobody wanted his burning love. Hmm, that one didn't go over so well. Okay guys, and that pretty much do it for this video where we took a look at some wonderful PSP hidden gems, some lesser known kind of games, but definitely some fun, quirky, and weird, just kind of niche kind of games that are definitely probably worth owning for your PSP game library. Like I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of the PSP, so I just had to talk about some hidden gems, but until next time guys, please take it easy. Thank you guys always for watching. Until next time, bye guys.